it says I'm live. Hey, uh, YouTube, um, Glory Days Boxing. Uh, I was asked by a subscriber and a friend of the channel, and um, if I could show you how to play this game. Uh, it's not very hard, and I'll show you what you need. First off, you got to have your board out, and you got to have your two fighters. You got to have two dent, 10 sides, black, white. You need a red 20, red 6, blue 20, and a blue 6. And then have your referees and your event charts, both of those charts. You want to have both of those handy. Okay. All right. Well, um, it's not very difficult. Um, let's just get six together. Um, the one on the left I always have is a right red fighter, and that's Marciano here. What's up, M. Charlotte? Good morning. And if you have a question, you just ask me. So the red fighter I would have right here. The blue fighter, obviously, I'll have right here. That's Jack Johnson, okay? So you'll have both of those in the heavyweight set that you get. I, don't, I didn't know what all sets you were going to get, so that's why I'm putting these two fighters out there. Rocky Marciano, red. Jack Johnson, the blue. All right. Let's just say you're going to start a fight now. Start a boxing match. So we're going to roll. First off, if you didn't see what I was talking about, you got to have a six-sided blue along with a 20-sided blue. You got to have a six-sided red along with a 20-sided red. Now, if this is a, it, and a black and a white 10 side. Okay. Now, you don't have to do this. If you have, if you do it like Anthony does it, he only plays with one of these and two of these. So he doesn't play with the second one. But if you play with both of them already, you know exactly where you stand as far as a knockout. You got the whole bundle. Okay. All right. So it's cool. Yep. So you definitely have these two fighters. Okay. First off, let's, let's look at, let's look at the card a little bit. Okay. Um, Let's look at Marciano's card, and it's going to show you 10 stars there. I don't know if you can see them. It's like two there. Um, there are two there. Uh, let's see if I can line it up better. Two there, two there, one there, none there for the five. Five, he has none, and then three for the six. So what that means is this. If he rolls a five, right here on the red dice, he has no stars for him. And chances are he's not going to have any control of things where if he rolls a six, he's got three stars. And if he's not fighting a 10 star fighter, he's going to have control that, you know, and this one's from the inside. Okay. So that's what that says right there. Next right over here says power seven eleven. So what that means is this. When he's fighting and he's at regular strength because his stamina is 110 or 90. 90 for a short fight, like 10 rounds. 110 for like a 15 or 12 round fight. But his power is a 7 and it, then it says slash 11. If, it, if your fighter is not hurt yet, anything 7 or less on this 20-sided die, if he has... The, the if he's indeed the one able to hit do the punching, he will have a chance to knock down his opponent Johnson. And then Johnson, you look at his chin KD, and it's got a three, and then a, and then in um, italics or in in parentheses a seven. So what that means is this: seven or less, he gets hurt. Three or less, he is decked. He's knocked down. So what you would do then? After this one, so let's let's try it. Let's let's roll it a couple times because it's a good chance, especially with Marciano's power, that you get yourself a seven or less here. So let's roll all six of them, and that's the way I would start to fight. I would have two blue, a six and a twenty, two red, a six and a twenty, and then the two sided, I mean, the, then the two ten, the two uh, D tens, the black one and the white one. All right. All right, Puck, have a good one, bud. I'll I'll be around here. So we're gonna let roll them all through. All right. So we see that the blue one is a five. 
and we see that the red one is a one. All right. The red one's a one right here. Marciano has two stars. Okay. We see there's a five right there. And Jack Johnson only has one star. Okay. So that means automatically Johnson's not going to get any punches in offensively here. He may, he may counter punch, but here's the guy that's going to be doing the punching right here. And with a one, it's from the inside. Okay. So then we look at the inside right here on Marciano's chart. And then the green, anything from a zero all the way to a 57, he makes contact. So let's go over here and look, see what the black die says. Well, a black die shows a two. And the white die shows a one. So it's a 21. That's a tens. That's a ones. So we go over here to 21, and it says 21 to 43. Lead hook and a combination, three punches land. So then you just go right up here and go three punches. Now we'll see if he's got any kind of defense going on. All right. Uh, Jack Johnson, his defense is one through seven right there. Okay. It may, it may take punches away or it may add punches, but it's a 17. So that does not do anything to Marciano right there. Does not mean a thing to Marciano, but we do have a 20 on the red die. 20 on the red die, it doesn't matter who it is, okay? A 20 on the red die, cut or swelling chance, 19 or 20. So what we're going to do then, we find out Jack Johnson's cut rate. And he has a cut rate of three, cut rate of three, okay? So anytime Marciano gets a good punch off, which he got those three punches right there off, okay? Anytime he gets a punch off like that, you check us if it says 19 or 20, it doesn't matter who's a fighter. You got to check the other guy's cut rate and we'll re-roll this 20. And this cut rate is one to three. So if it's a one, two, or three, then we'll do something else. If it's not, we don't worry about it. So let's roll it. It's a 17. So it's no cut involved. So all you got to do is go down 20 seconds with it. And it goes from three minutes to 240 right there. These are not included. I say definitely, uh, you get chips with it. Find you something with a handle so you can move it quicker or or laminate this bad boy like I've got it laminated. Then you can use a dry erase and you can just mark through it each time you want to. And you don't even have to. But I, I, I just use these because they're even quicker than using uh, um, markers. Just move it like that. So it's 240 left to go in the round. And right now we know Marciano has control. So what do we do? We get all six dice again. He didn't have a chance to knock him down because he rolled a 20, which gave him a chance to cut. Anytime you get a chance to cut, it's not a chance to knock him down. So let's roll it again. All right. This time, Marciano, it's a three. He gets a red three. There's a black five again. All right. Marciano's three is two stars okay jack johnson's five we know was one star last time so it's still one star johnson's not on the offense it's still marciano three is from the inside again all right this number is a six this number was a nine all right well we know what marciano's punch rate is from the inside it's zero to 57 so he doesn't get a punch off here he's going to miss and it's going to be 58 to 82 misses check the opponent's counter. Okay. Well, his counter right here, it says one to four, five to eight. So if that blue 20, let's see if that blue 20 has got anywhere to eight. And it's not. It's the 13. Uh, yeah. Okay. Very cool. So being that it's a 13, it's not going to be a counter punch. Okay. So that's a miss punch, no counter punch. So we go ahead and go another 20 seconds, and that's 220 left. All right, we pick all six of them up. So all it was was a swing and a miss is all it was. And we know Marciano still ha has control. All right, so let's roll again. Whoops. Anytime I get one dice to go through like this, I re-roll them all because – I, I just do it, okay? Anytime I get one to fall off my deck, I do them all again. All right. I just always do that. There's a four. 
All right, this could be an interesting role. Here's a six. All right. We know Marciano had control, okay? Well, a four is one, okay? Six on the other side for Johnson is two. So now Johnson has control, okay? So we don't want to worry about the red dice as much as we do the blue one. So let's see what the blue dice has. And that blue dice has a one on it. His power, look, there's a three to five. So what does that mean? Three if he's not hurt yet. And that's a one. He has a chance to knock Marciano down, okay? First off, though, we have to see uh, with a six, it's inside. So he's got to have something between a zero and a 49 uh, to make sure he he hits him. So let's see what happens. There's a four. So we know he hit him because we know it said 49 and nothing's higher than a nine on there, but it's a five. Okay. So that's a 45. So we go right here to the inside because that's a six and it says inside. Inside 45, crisp jab, cross combo. Jab, cross combo, connects for two punches, landed. So right now we give him two punches. But before we do anything, we have to see what his defense is. One to four, that's a 12. So we don't have to worry about Marciano's defense there. But we do have to worry about the chance of a knockdown. So what we do, we go to Marciano's chin. And Marciano's chin check is a two. And then in parentheses, a five. What does that mean? Five or less, this guy's hurt. He's going to be hurt, and he's going to have one turn where he's not going to have any defense. Two or less, he's on the deck. So we just roll it. And that's a 16. 16 means we continue on. He gets his two punches, okay? But he did not knock him down with the punch. He tried to hit him and knock him down, but didn't do it. We go to two minutes left in, in a round and continue on. So it was a chance of a knockdown, but he didn't do it. John has control now, remember. He just got these punches off. So we check with him first now. All right, so we'll go to the blue die. That's a three, and that's two on the outside. Let's see what this is. All right, I'll switch up again here. Six is three stars. He's got three where he only has two. He's, he's losing his offense, and we're going back to this side, to the red with Marciano. We've got uh, an eight, all right? So he can't knock him down. He's, his powers are seven. He's got to be seven or less, and that's an eight right there, okay? Now, what else we do? Well, six says it's on the inside, so this number's got to be zero to 57, and it's not. It's a 91. Okay, 91 from the inside shows 83 to 94 is a clinch. 83 to 94, and that's a 91. Simply 20 seconds lost in the round. So it goes to a minute 40. And I'm, I'm keeping it above the minute 40 there so you can kind of see it. Since it's a clinch, he's got control again, being that he got the number. But he did not get a punch off. So it's a minute 40 left to go in this first round with Marciano right now in control. All right. Let's get to four here. Let's get this two. All right. All right. Four is one, one star. All right. Two is no stars. Okay. All right. So obviously one star is better than no, no stars. So from the outside, we got to get something between a zero and a 42. I think we got that. Uh, we do. It's about 20. It's a two and a four. So 24 and the four is on the outside. So we got to go on this side now. Okay. Not this side. That's the inside punch. This is the outside punch. 24, 15 to 32. Lead hook in a combination. Three punches land. Three punches land. So we go up here. He already had three. Three plus three is six. Okay. We're not done yet. All right, Jack Johnson's defense is one to four, one to seven. Well, oh, well, first off, we have to see if there's a knockdown chance. And there's a seventeen. We know it's seven or less. No knockdown chance. All right, and then right here's a two. All right, Jack Johnson with a two. Let's see what his defense is. One to three says a minus one. 
So we go back up here, and instead of getting six punches done this round, he goes back to five. Okay? So we're at 140. We go back to 120 because he couldn't knock him down. He's already done his defensive check. Marciano's back in control with a minute 20 left to go. Okay? Let's roll him again. All right. So Marciano had control with a three. That's two stars. All right. With a five, Johnson only has one star. So Marciano is still in control. Three is from the inside. From the inside, there's a four and a six. All right. From the inside, that's this side, 46. Hook and cross connect. Two punches land. So let's give him his two punches first. We may have to take some away but if a defense is good. All right. Now let's see if the red 20 is seven or less. And it's not. It's a 17. Okay. So he can't knock him down. But Johnson could block some punches here. So let's see what happens. All right. 15. He didn't block any of the punches. So he keeps him seven. And we're down to a minute left in the round. Okay. Marciano, the red fighter, still has control. Grab all six die, and we roll again. Okay. There's a two, and there's a five again. Two right here for Marciano is two stars. Five over here we know is only one star. So Marciano keeps control. Let's see what happens here now. Um, it's a zero. So zero, anything is all, oh, there's a black zero there. So that's always good. And this is from the inside. So zero, three, and this guy's punching this time. From the inside, pummels the head and body, five shots. So you add five to the seven, it makes 12. All right. Now, this is interesting. There's a seven right there. So it's, it's within his power range. He can knock him down now. But don't let's don't forget he still got his net knockdown chant. I mean his defensive chant. And there's a three right here. So first off, we've given him his five punches already. Defensive check of a three. It says one to three. We take one punch away. So right now, before we do anything else, we take one punch back to eleven. Now Marciano has a chance to knock Johnson down because he just got his power check. So we have to go back to Johnson's chin, and it says 3-7. So a 3 or less, Johnson's on the mat. 7 or less, Johnson is hurt bad. And with enough time in the round, he will have one unopposed action if he gets a 7 or less right here. So let's roll this 20-sided, and it's an 18. So what that means is this. Simply, it's no knockdown. He gets his punches. We go to 40 seconds left in the round. And Marciano still has control. All right. So we get all six die or dice. There's a three. And there's a three. All right. This, this is a good one here. I like this one there. Okay. All right. Marciano inside two stars. He has control, but let's watch this. So Johnson outside two stars. All right, they're going to be toe to toe, but how do you decide which one's inside outside? Remember, he's the one that had control, so his he's saying inside. So we're going to fight inside, toe to toe here. So first off, Marciano with his two stars, he gets the first chance at him. So we get the numbers out here, and that's a six and a two from the inside. Sixty-two is too much. It's more than a fifty-seven. It misses, okay? Since it's toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you don't have to do a defensive check here. We got to make sure he has a chance to not, uh, you know, to hit him back. So first, let's look at Marciano's. Uh, he would have had a chance to knock him down with a three, but he missed a punch with a 62. Now, let's get the other guy's 20. And his 20 side, look at there, it's a two. So from the inside, if he gets anything from a zero to a 49, we have to re-roll these two just on a toe-to-toe um, -toe exchange. Anything from a zero to a 49, he's going to have a chance to knock Marciano down. And that's a 94. So it's way too high. From the inside, 94, it's eight, 83 to 94, so it's a clinch. So simply put, we just take 20 seconds off the clock. 
All right. And Marciano being there was toe to toe. He still has control this last 20 seconds uh, in a toe to toe. He'll get to hit him first. So here we go. All right. So we get a one right there. Marciano has a two. It's not going to be toe to toe though. And Johnson has a five and that's only one. So Marciano is going to be on the offense from the inside. There's a zero and there's a three. So from the inside, zero seven, we know it's five punches. So he's going to hit him five more times. All right. Let's see his number here. That's a six. So that's in his power range to knock him down. Being that it's the last 20 seconds of the round, though, it's a little different. I'll show you something. First off, let's do his defense. His defense is a one, and it says anything. Uh, defense one to three, we take one punch away. So we got to take one punch away. Now, being that it's the last 20 seconds of the round, you can't hurt him and keep fighting. So what happens is we only find out what it, how much it takes to knock him down. We don't worry about that number in the parentheses. So the seven, we can forget about. We, we want to hurt him, yeah, but it's not going to do us any good because it's going to be the end of the round. But he can't be saved by the bell. So there's a three right there. If we roll three or less right here, this fight could be over. It will knock him down. Let's see what happens. It's an eight. So it did not knock him down. Let's say, let's say, let's see if we can get us a three or less. Hold on. There's a two. Let's say if we, we would have gotten that and knocked him down. Okay. What happens then is this. We see, we roll one of these. Don't, don't worry about a zero. There's a one. So that means he would have been down for a one count. Okay. But then we have to do a wheel check. And then see if he still got the wheel to keep fighting. That's a five. If anywhere from five to one, one to five, if we roll this dice and it's between that, this fight's over with. And there's a five right there. And that would have ended the fight right there. However, if it's not a five, well, it was a two, uh, that would have been in. But it, let's say it's a 19. All that means is, is a flash knockdown, a one. It was a one count knockdown. Okay. So he was put on the mat, but he got back up and ready to fight the next round. Then you'd simply go to the points. There's 15 punches. There's two punches. Okay. 15 punches to two. You put it down on your chart, but being that Marciano knocked him down, that's normally always a 10, eight round. So you, you just take your 15 away from Jack Johnson's 110 stamina. Now leave 95 going into the second round. You take two away from Marciano's 110, and that'll leave 108 going into the second round. And that's the way that works. Um, and, and if there's a chance of a cut, um, you simply go to the card right here. If you within a cut rate, you re-roll the die right here. And let's say it's a 20. And on, you just go to wh whoever got cut, it's card. And right here on 20, right there is a bloody nose. You just write that down on the paper and put on that first time. Because after a second or third or fourth time, it may be a chance you stop the fight. So you need to keep up with how many times they've been cut, stuff like that. And then that's a chance it could end the fight. Shoot. I don't know if I confused you totally or not, guys. Um, if you have any questions, whoever you are out there as to how to, to play glory days boxing, it's, you know, you can play 10 rounds, you can play eight rounds, you can play three rounds. It doesn't matter. And, um, and, oh, but I, most time I go 15 rounds. Well, let's hope, let's hope it helps everybody. But, um, you know, when you get the game, you don't necessarily have all of these dice. I think you definitely need to go pick up a blue 20. Uh, I think you need two 20-sided die, a red one and a blue one. You need just two six-sided die. I prefer a blue one and a red one just to be able to keep track of it. And then you're two 10-sided. If you do it that way, you can roll through a round and roll through a fight just like that. It's no problem. You don't have hardly any problems at all. Um, uh, you know, you have to keep up. 
with their traits. Some of them have some special traits. Rob, do you just roll one-off fights, or do you have a league or federation? Well, I do have champions. I have a lightweight champion. I have a welterweight champion. I have a middleweight champion. I have a heavyweight champion. And a lot of times, if I'm fighting, let's say off fighters, I'll let two off fighters fight. And a lot of times I'll give them a chance, one of them to chance to win the title. Um, but I, you know, right now, um, let's see who, who lost the other day. Uh, let's see somebody got beat. I got to go back and look at it. Uh, Duran, I think Duran was my middleweight. I mean, was my welterweight title holder and he got beat. So, um, uh, and a split decision. So he, Anytime I have like a title fight and is it like a decision, I give that guy a, a, a rematch chance. If he gets knocked down, it, even if it, even if the title switches hands any kind of way, I always give a guy a rematch clause. But um, if it's a if it's a split decision or something, I'll, a lot of times I'll even fight him a third time. And um, I don't really keep up with it. I don't write it all down. I, I've got the videos to watch anytime I want to. But uh, Marciano is my heavyweight champion. I got uh, uh, Durant. Durant was my welterweight champion. I forgot who beat him. Somebody beat him the other day. Uh, my lightweight champion. Oh, no. he was my Maybe he was my lightweight champion. My welterweight champion is uh, Tommy Hearns, I think. I think that's right. And then my middleweight champion is Hagler. And Hagler, he, he's been through a lot of times, hard, a lot of rough times. with, But – a lot of times I'll just pick two out of the way fighters for no reason at all. Two of them that look like they'll be giving each, that, that would give each other a good fight. And uh, you can't look at their records and tell that you have to look at their cards and look at it and kind of study it a little bit and see what you think. Uh, a 10 star fighter, two 10 star fighters. Most time is a brawl. Most time it's a good brawl. And, and, but you know what? A two five star fighters. Most time is a good fight. It's just, it just depends on how you put them together. And that, that's the thing. If you, if you put together a good fight and people just see that you have, now, sometimes I have some real stinkers. I'll admit that some, some of them that I've got like two of them, I feel really good about. I'll be sitting outside and be like, man, I want to go inside and go do this fight now. And uh, sometimes it'll be some, some stinkered fights. So don't think every fight's going to be a good fight. But majority of them are. Sounds like total stars is a good measure of overall building. Yeah, yeah. A 10 star fighter uh, gives you the overall chance of, of getting good punches off. Power always helps. But some of these guys without power still are able to get their punches in because they can go toe to toe. So, yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. Both of these two guys are 10 star fighters. But you noticed Rocky Marciano stayed in control a little bit more that round. That would not be, uh, not always be the case if they keep fighting because a lot of times it may turn the tide where Johnson starts rolling a lot of ones because ones for him is three stars. And, um, you know, start fighting outside then. But Marciano is an inside fighter. So it just depends on how the fight rolls and what, how it goes. And I'm telling you, it's a really, really good engine that Anthony came up with. And then on top of that, he knows his fighters. I mean, he knows the game better than most of us. And I know he knows it a lot better than I do. I don't even, I don't even propose to know. I mean, my goodness, he's got 500. I got 500 fighters sitting in here and a plus because I've got some, that he's even sent me some extra cards. So I've got over 500 fighters sitting right here in my box. And it's just, uh, it's incredible. It really is. It's a fun game. It's, uh, and you see how often I play it. Uh, I got my baseball out a lot because I love to play it. I got my glory days boxing out a lot because I like to play it. I have my golf out inside the cup golf and history maker golf out a lot because I like to play it. That's, you know what? That's the easiest way to tell what somebody likes is to see what they're playing because generally people don't like playing. If, if people don't like to play it and you don't see them playing it, then there's a question mark like, oh, okay, do you have that game? 
you, then you start asking questions. But if you see somebody playing it all the time and they cl- clearly enjoy it, then most of the time it's, it's no question about it. And it's just a matter of if you really think you want the game or not. But, uh, yeah, heavyweight sets, a fun set. If you're getting all five sets, you're going to just be like, floored when you get them because this thing is heavy as everything it's heavy as a it's really heavy and i mean look look what you get i mean this this thing this thing is packed this thing is packed so you know the mailman's gonna be bringing it to your door and be like what in the hell have you got going on there but uh yeah uh, and i've got like i say i've got a lot of loose fighters that i've done i've done different uh you know, different, um, like test fights for, for Anthony and stuff like that. And it's, um, uh, it's just a lot of fun. I definitely recommend the game. Uh, it, you don't even have to be a boxing fan. You don't have to be a boxing fan because the game is just, it just, it enthralls you. It really gets you involved in it. And then the next thing you know, it's like you fought three times before you even realize it. Be like, okay, well, why not a fourth time? And it, it, yeah, it's so easy to do that. And the first day I got it, I think I had like five fights, and it was just—I mean—and you got to go slow when you first start. So you know, I probably had the game in front of me for eight hours, <laughs> but that's that's just the way it works. It's it's that much fun, and. Um, you know, I showed you one round, probably took me 10 minutes there. I'm a fight fan, but it's a, about using Sugar Ray Robinson. Okay. Ray Robinson is a welterweight, I think. In it. Okay. Uh, you excited? It's about using, yeah, Sugar Ray Robinson's in there, and Sugar Ray Leonard's in the same welterweight set. I, th- I think it's a welterweight. That's a good set because you've got, uh, you got Hearns. Leonard and Robinson all in that welterweight. And that, that's a strong set, that welterweight set. You're going to have a lot of fun with that. The lightweights, I tell you what, the lightweights with uh, Duran, they're not, I mean, that's a lot of good lightweights too. Um, I, I, I'm always, I've always been partial to the middleweights, but I liked it when Sugar Ray Leonard was a middleweight. He wasn't as good then. I know Hearns was a middleweight. Duran, Hagler, but he's got them in their primes. So that's why he's got Sugar Ray Robinson might do a career replay. And you know what? You certainly can do it, man. You certainly can do it. You can start from where he started his career, work it, work his way up. You know what? He may he may get a surprise loss here or there, but guess what? It's it's just part it's just part of the replay. It's part of the replay. You know. One thing about it, like somebody told me, if you fight, if you fight um, 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 Marciano enough on here, he's no longer going to be undefeated. I mean, he's, he went forty nine and zero, but it, you know, you fight him enough against some of these great fighters, Tyson, Ali, Foreman, Spinks, Holmes, uh, Holyfield, all these guys, Fury. There's a chance he's going to get beat somewhere, and and he has lost fights. He's lost fights on that, and um, it's you know, but it's it's so realistic because I mean he took a he took a big punch and he failed, and that was just it. And I don't care who you are, you may you may have went through your whole career and never got knocked out. That doesn't mean you you can't get knocked out. That just means you didn't when you fought, but that doesn't mean at all that you're not capable of getting knocked out. So, uh, yeah, Sugar Ray Robinson replay should be fun for you, dude. Uh, have a lot of fun with it. Um, when you do it, hey, if you get a chance to throw it on on, uh, on YouTube, I'm telling you, especially if people know that you're going to be doing a Sugar Ray Robinson replay, that they may, you know, they may catch fire. A lot of people may want to watch it. So if you decide to do it, online you just got hey just advertise tell people hey look you know sugar ray robinson replay and then if there's up if there's a day you know if there's a sugar ray robinson day or something up there 
your you you know your videos may get highlighted by uh, YouTube just due to the fact you got Sugar Ray Robinson in the titles. So hey, take off, run with it if you decide to do it that way. Just have fun with it. How would you have a way? If you if you group the best fighters together, definitely gonna have some losses for guys that w- went unscathed. Oh yeah, no doubt about it. But that's the thing, man. You know. It's not like, you know, he fought 49 times, not 549 times. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he only met, what, 33 different people, I think, in his career, 34 different people, something like that. At, you know, there's a lot of other people out there could fight. and uh, But in his career, that's, uh, that's you know, that's the ones that was up there at the time. And, uh, you know, he, he, was, uh, he was the best in the game at that time, no doubt about it. Um, program notes, guys. Um, I uh, will probably do a couple of ball games sometime today. I don't know how soon. Uh, the wife's not feeling good today. She's actually a little under the weather. My mom, she she's just feeling a little bad. I think uh, my mom. I'll definitely go check on her. She's doing some better. I contacted her this morning. So I, before we go out of town, I just want to make sure she's doing okay. And then I got to do some running around, we go to a couple of establishments here and there and take care of finances and those different things. So we're going to be, uh, we'll be out of town. Uh, as of at Thursday night, we'll probably go to bed real early because we're going to be out of here early, early Friday morning. And we'll probably be back sometime Friday, I mean, Monday afternoon sometime. That's what I'm looking at, so. Uh, we'll see. It might be Monday a little earlier than the afternoon. It might be late in the evening, too. So we'll, it just depends on how the weather is, how hot it is, how if it's rainy. A lot of things will, play, will come into play. So we'll, we'll, we'll take it as we go. But uh, we're going to do some American picking if we can, just like at Pickers, uh, Mike and Frank, and we're going to see what we can bring home. And uh, who knows? We're, gonna, we're taking a big SUV. We're actually renting one. We're not even going to take ours. We're going to rent one. And uh, we're going to see how much stuff we can come back with. Uh, almost almost rented a van, but I was like, nah, let's, let's just get an SUV and see what we can find. So we may find furniture. Who knows? Who knows? We're going to go looking all weekend and see what we can find. Um, if I happen to see you out there or you happen to see me, uh, stop me and say, hey, Rob, what's going on? And, uh, we can do, we can do a, uh, we can do a sit down, or uh, we can take a couple pictures with each other, and uh, definitely get you back on my YouTube channel. Let people know, you know, how things are going, and uh, especially if you're a follower of the channel, what areas are you going to go look at? Uh, we're going down to Southwest Virginia. We're going down in the mountains. I mean, we're going. I mean, in some thick thickets of the mountains, and. Um, it's, you know, it's some rough roads down that way. <clears throat> but I'm hoping for a lot of old stuff that maybe some people still have from maybe even the 1800s. And signage is okay. And uh, we're not really, we're not really, we don't give people a list and say what we're looking for. We kind of look around and see if we see something that catches our eye. And if we do, yeah, yeah, old Appalachia stuff, yeah, yeah. If we find a couple of old uh, milk, old milk bottles, I like those things pretty cool. Or, uh, there's no telling, man. Uh, I don't do a lot of weapons. Weapons is <clears throat> that's a dangerous thing to get into. Moonshine relics. Oh yeah, I get that. Weapons I don't do a lot with though because there's. Uh, you never know what <laughs> what that weapon could have been used for, and I, I I don't I just don't do that a lot. So I don't I don't do a lot of weapons, but I do love to find a lot of like Indian stuff too, uh, uh, or, you know arrowheads stuff like that. People have that's that's some pretty cool stuff. Uh, old Americana furniture, uh, glassware dishware, all sorts of stuff. We, we'll look around. 
I do a lot of toys. I mean, my goodness. Uh, some of the toys I've got from way back. So it's just, I got, I got a ton of shit. So I've already got too much and we're going doing this. And I really don't know why we're doing it, but she wanted to do it. So um, this is more for her. But I enjoy it. I, I can't lie and say, well, I'm doing this all for my wife. Yeah, I like doing it too. So we will definitely do that. Hope the video helped out. Uh, if you have any questions as to, well, I came to this and you didn't really explain it, Rob, leave it down in the comment section. Don't, don't, definitely don't be shy about that. Uh, your one comment about uh, uh, pedal to the metal, pretty simple. Uh, one and two on a black die is a top group. Three and four is a middle group. Five is a back group. Six on a black die, I just play it straight up, pedal to the metal. It doesn't matter what numbers on a white die. A six all automatically pushes you to pedal to the metal. Then you can do however way you want to. You can use a 20-sided die. You can, you know, you can pick a number, however way you want to do it with, with it. And, um, let that person have a chance and uh, no problem, no problem at all. Uh, uh, M. Sharver sent me a video, I mean, sent me a message uh, this morning and said he wanted to find out a little bit more about uh, how to play Glory Days Boxing. Uh, if I've got a game and you've seen me play it before and you're like, okay, how exactly do I play that? Uh, give me a holler. Um, I'll do the best I can to try to explain it. Um, I'm not, you know, I was a teacher at one time, but uh, uh, I, you know, I'm sure I missed things somewhere along the way. So uh, don't be shy at all about asking me questions. And uh, I enjoy it. Uh, that way, I, at least I know somebody's watching my videos. Somebody's watching my channel. Um, like I say, uh, no word yet on d lunch this morning. Uh, if we get some word this evening, I will give you an update. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll check you out now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, um, yeah. So Dean Lons, I will have some kind of update this evening. I hope I like to say my schedule is hectic, hectic come middle of the day. Some this morning I was just lucky. I got up and like I said, my wife didn't feel good. Uh, that's not lucky, but I'm just saying uh, I didn't have to start running from, you know, 7.30 on. But uh, I will definitely go check on my parents and see how things are going there and there and here and there. So you may see me somewhere along the way during the day, but it's, it's just probably when my feet land on the ground for five minutes and I have a chance to kind of uh, take, take reference of the day and what I've done so far. So you all have a great, great day. Thanks so much for watching the channel. Thanks for supporting the channel. We got about 210, 215 people. Uh, it's picking up fast. It really is. So, uh, hey, uh, I'm, all, I'm all about if you enjoy the channel, let me know what you like on it. If you don't, tell me what you don't like about it. I don't have a problem with that. I, I'll address positive and negative comments. And, um, hey, hey. If you're negative and you're watching me, hell, I would rather for you to be negative and watch me than be positive and say, hey, I'll go out the door and you know, I'll watch you another day if I get a chance. Hey, watch me. I don't care if <laughs> I would prefer you like me, but if you don't, hey, that's okay too. Uh, just don't be mean. Don't be, uh, you know, don't get too, too mean with your comments either way. Uh, but uh, have a great day. Uh, thanks a lot and uh, God bless. Be safe. Uh, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, and wash them again. If Sean was here, he'd tell you that. Wear your mask. Uh, this is not near over with, guys. We still got a long time. We got to fight yet. And if, if you don't take care of yourself, uh, then we all have to take start first with ourselves before we can start worrying about other people. Have a great day. God bless. Bye-bye.